In this video I'm going to use GFI LandGuard to scan my system for any missing updates. Now you can do a lot with GFI LandGuard. As you can see here I can do a full vulnerability assessment, do a hardware audit, and uh, many other things. In this video I'm going to be looking for missing patches on this system. Now these are other options that I can select. For instance, I can wake up computers that are offline and I can shut down the machine after I'm done with the scan. You can also scan other computers on the network, but for this video I'm going to scan my own system. That's why the scan target, I'm going to leave it as my local host. I'm not going to change the credentials because I'm an administrator. So I'm just going to run the scan pretty quickly. Now on the left hand side under the scan results overview, you can see the devices that are being scanned. In this case, it's the IP address of my machine and then right underneath you're going to start to see the results. You see that it detects a, a, that it's a Windows 10 64-bit. Now I went ahead and fast forward the video. It took about 3 minutes and 10 seconds for the full scan. Didn't take that long and you can see there are some issues here. I intentionally left some stuff uh, out. I didn't patch my system I mean just so I could get some results of course so you can see now let's take a look at the things that are missing you see there's missing service packs there's some update rollups as well like the Windows malicious software removal tool for example it releases uh, it has what they call rollups so you're supposed to be updating those I haven't updated those and that's why you're still flagging my system with uh, several of those same thing with Silverlight and the service pack for my SQL Server 2012 that I have running on my system. Now as far as the security updates, there's nine updates that are critical. Now if you notice, they're not all from Microsoft. See there's other applications like Adobe Flash here that it also needs an update and it's a, it's a it's considered to be a critical update so it needs to be taken care of. Now the others are from Microsoft Office applications and I believe the one at the top is the ones from Windows. It's a cumulative update for Windows 10. Now there's another section here and it checks for other updates that are not security updates but still uh, you need to install them and here's a list of all those updates. They need to be installed but they're not as critical as the ones that we just saw a while ago. And of course, at the bottom, you also have uh, some updates that have already been installed. So there are different categories, and then there's installed non security updates as well. So if I have Wireshark, I have VM Player, Python, Nmap, and other applications that I'm using on my system. There's another section here that gives me the information about the system itself it's a Precision 5530. That service tag and everything that way you can keep it on your part of your inventory. You see now the good thing about in GFI Landguard is that if you find vulnerabilities, you can always uh, remediate those problems. You see here at the top, it gives me the option to there is a remediate tab right next to the scan tab. If you click on it, it shows you a list of all the updates that are missing. You can check them individually or you can uncheck the ones that you don't want to run if you if there are some updates that are known to create problems in your network and you don't want to install it you can uncheck it and then just uh, install the rest of the updates so I think that's a pretty cool uh, feature you see so it's like an all-in-one type of uh, tool GFI Landguard you find the vulnerabilities or the in this case we're looking for the missing updates and then it finds the missing updates and it deploys the updates pretty quickly so it's very convenient. You see, you don't even have to touch the physical machine to do the updates because, like I said, I mean, I'm doing my local host right now, but you can also do computers over the network as long as they're part of the same LAN. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to deploy the software updates. It might take a few minutes, so I'm just going to leave it running. Now you can start to see that it's downloading those updates. It's, it's first going to download the updates and then after it downloads the updates 
you can see here all the details of how that's going. You see some are pending and then the one at the top it says downloading so you see the different state of each update and about 15-20 minutes it'll be done you restart your system and you're finished